Welcome to Flash Tutorial 24, Slider Component. Um, the slider component is a built-in um, device on uh, Flash that allows you to use like a speed or size control. Like you slide the bar up and down and, and parameters can change. So we're going to start by using a new FLA. Selecting Action Script 3. Pressing OK. This first layer, I'm going to call it Ball, B-A-L-L. -L. Going over here, picking up a red color for my fill, black for my stroke. I want the oval tool. If you're seeing the oval tool now, OK, select it. Otherwise, if you're seeing the rectangle tool, click that corner. You get the drop-down menu. I want the oval tool. Hold my shift down, and I'm making a circle. And I'm going to highlight it. Open the properties panel and make sure this chain is locked. And just for now, I'm going to set it up around 65 and both X and Y or both height and width change proportionally because the chain was locked. And if it's not fuzzy, highlight it, right click down here, convert to a symbol. Make sure a movie clip is selected. Make sure this center registration is selected and call this ball, B-A-L-L, -L, shift underscore M-C. We'll copy that, right click, copy that, click OK, open the properties panel, there it is, the movie clip ball, and paste this in for an instance name. Lock that balls layer, insert a layer, call it text, T-E-X-T, Come over here, select your text tool, open the properties panel. I want dynamic text, times new Roman. I have 15 points. I want it to be black. Embed, click this embed. And upper, lower, numerals and punctuations, click OK. OK, make a text box over here. Open the properties panel and give it a name, type, type, type. Call it ball size underscore txt, capital B, capital S, underscore txt, and that has to be dynamic text. Okay. Lock that layer, insert a layer, and call this slider. S L I D E R. Over here on docked, I have something called components. If you don't have components docked here, it looks like four little squares, I think. Go up to window and down here, click component. Either way, it will open. You want the user interface drop down menu and click on slider and just drag it up here. And there's your, your slider. Pick your selection tool up, highlight it, and open the properties panel. It's a movie clip called Slider. And we want to paste in or type in an instance name. Call it Slider underscore MC with a capital S. So we have a slider, we have some text, and we have a ball. Lock all the layers, insert a layer, call it Action Script AS and open your actions panel. If you don't have it docked here, again, go under window, select actions, and it will open. And there's not a whole lot of code, so we'll type it in all at once. Type, 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 type. And I'll go through it for you. If we're using the slider component, we need to do, do what's called import, I-M-P-O-R-T, turns purple, space, FL period turns blue, events, E V E N T S, small e, that turns blue, period, slider event, capital S, capital E, that will turn blue if it's spelt right, semicolon. We want to start off with the ball size, that's that text box we made, ball size underscore TXT, capital B, capital X, period. TEXT, this should turn blue, equals quotation mark, size, colon 5, close quotation, 
semicolon. And at the same time, we want to make sure that the, um, the value of the slider, the, that's a value we're going to use, a, a parameter, slider underscore mc period value, value turns blue, equals five semicolon. This slider movie clip is this one up here, the one we just used, the, uh, the component. So now let's do the, the actual event listener. Slider underscore MC period add event listener small a capital E capital L that will turn blue open bracket it's a slider event capital S L I D E R E V E N T capital S capital E period all uppercase change so this event is going to see how much the slider changes when we move it comma adjust I'm calling this function adjust a d j u s t close bracket semicolon and here we're calling the function up function f u n c t i o n turns purple copy the word adjust paste it in open bracket event small e v e n t colon it's a slider event so you can copy this slider event paste it in close bracket colon void v o i d turns the same color as function there's the open curly bracket, and as you start to type this in, this closed curly bracket will come for you. Ball size underscore text. That's that text box we made. Period. T-E-X-T. -E that small T-E-X-T -E turns blue. Equals. Quotation. Size. Colon. Quotation. When things are in quotations like this and they turn green, in my case, that's my, my, my setup, uh, that means that will be written as it is in the in the box in that text box up here it'll say size and we're going to start off with the size being five so when the first starts off five will be written in here but we want it to be uh, whatever it is based on where the change is on this slider so it's size size colon quotation as I said turns green plus this makes us what's called a string event period target period value small e small t small v event period target period value semicolon so that's going to make our text up to date and now we're going to change the x and y uh, scales sizes of the ball ball underscore mc period scale x small s capital x equals event period target period value you can copy that and paste it in semicolon copy that whole line paste it in change the scale x to scale y in both cases these are capital letters and here's the closed curly bracket so now let's test this out there are a few things about this that i'm not uh that i don't really like or can't figure out why they are what they are so there we're displaying the five there's my my ball when I click on it nothing happens till I leave it go and it's way 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 too big you can see that it's way too big because that's because the of the component values so let's change that so come down here and we're going to take this and divide it by eight I just played around with it till I got a value I liked depending on your circumstances you may want it to be that big so now let's try it with the value of eight in here control test movie test when I press it nothing happens is when I leave it go and notice that it gets smaller so the actual size at five is down here and I don't know how to to determine that in my code without without playing around which we'll do in a minute but notice if I slide it up this is what I don't like it doesn't change until you leave it go and there's size 10 there's 9 8 7 and also I don't like it that it goes down to 0 but that's maybe what you want so let's solve that 0 problem first what I did was I come down here I put an op open bracket here open bracket here close bracket close bracket and in each of these I put plus one 
So it has some value even if the value coming from the uh, component is zero. It still has a value of plus one, so it can never be zero. Now let's test it again. Here it is. I click on it. That's the plus one value. There's its biggest size and there's its smallest size. So now let's go back to the five and see how big it is. It's much bigger than what I have. Now I can play around and make some grids and all that, but what I did was I just took, went back to my main timeline, unlocked my ball, highlighted, opened the properties panel, and I know it's too small, so make sure this chain is locked. It's 65. I'm going to take it up to about 80 for now. And test it. Control, test movie, test. All you do is click and leave a go. It's got to be bigger. See that? Now, depending on what you had, you may have to play around with this. I'm going to just do a few shots. 85. Just try that. Enter. But make sure that chain is locked. Control, test, movie, test. It's still bigger. Okay, let's try 95. If, at least if I go too big, I can come back. Uh, that looks too big. Control, test, movie, test. Click on it. Nope, still bigger. This will be the last one I'll try. I'll go 105. Control, test, movie, test. And click on it. That's pretty close. So there's five. There's as low as it goes and as high as it goes. And what I don't like is that you can't see it while you're adjusting it. And you got to leave it go for it to set in there. And what I don't like the most is it only has 10 ranges. But that's what's the, what the uh, uh, component is. Uh, eventually, I'm going to do another video that will we'll make our own slider. I'm not sure what it's going to be called right now. Anyway, hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.